So for me, I think there's probably three really important abstracts. One is actually about um, monitoring patients' treatment. And that's from the Spanish group who have used a new blood test called mass spectrometry to look at the level of a patient's myeloma. And it, this blood test looks as if it will be more sensitive than the regular blood tests we currently do, the measurement of the M component or the paraprotein. But it also looks as if it may be more sensitive than the bone marrow tests we do. At the moment with the bone marrow test, we do a test called flow cytometry, and we can measure one myeloma cell in um, 100,000 normal cells. And this blood test looks as if it may actually be more sensitive. So I think that's important because it may mean that for some patients, we don't need to do the bone marrow. Still early days, but might mean that. As far as treatment is concerned, I think there's two exceptional abstracts which will really make a difference. The first one is using daratumumab in combination with carfilzomib and dexamethasone. And in that study, they compared the three drugs to two drugs, which was carfilzomib and dexamethasone. And they showed that the patients who received the three drugs had better responses and a longer progression-free disease survival. And I think the reason that one's important is that it's slightly unusual in the fact that it doesn't contain either lenalidomide or pomalidomide as one of the drugs in the combination. So for patients who have either received those drugs before or don't get on with those drugs, then that new combination could be very important. The third set of abstracts, which I think are really exciting, are looking at what we call BCMA, which is a new target on the myeloma plasma cell. And there seems to be two ways that we can target that. One is with um, what we call CAR T cells, which are T cells which are engineered to recognize a patient's own myeloma cell. And the other is by an antibody approach where we take the myeloma cell and we get it to combine with the patient's own immune system to kill the myeloma cell off. And there's been lots of abstracts on those. New drugs, still early days, but in patients that have received all the other therapies, they seem to be really effective with over 80% of patients having responses. As I say, still early days, we need to follow those patients a little longer, but I think quite exciting times.